Thank you, Shannon. Randy? Hi, good evening, everyone. I just wanted to say that I am, uh, I, I hear the other candidates come up and they're just so calm. I am like always on this level when everybody else is at this level of uh, fire. I just am like constantly on fire for what's going on. I was so excited. This weekend was my first convention and um, I'm 44 years old and you think, gosh, it's our first convention. I've never run for anything. I've never uh, really gotten involved in politics. I'm a businesswoman and a mom. That's been my life. And it's been very exciting. So I'm even more excited to take this next journey and move into hopefully the political arena and get in there and fight. And I am so wild about fighting for new legislation and to pass through things that they tried to pass through this year that my opponent, Liz Mathis, helped to stall. So uh, as, as uh, Crozier likes to say that she was grand stalling this entire uh, session. So uh, in the primary, I didn't have anybody to primary against, but it's the small victories that get you pretty excited. I looked at her vote count and I looked at my vote count and I actually beat her by about 30 some votes. So it's a small victory and I was very excited about it. One thing that I wanted to address is some of you in the district already received some phone calls before the primary. And what was really exciting for me, while the phone calls weren't exciting, um, that they happened to call a detective in the district. So I was very excited about that because he was able to reverse the phone number and we were able to track down exactly who the company was. And I want you to know this is how hard I fight. I have spent the better part of 20 years on my name and my reputation. So when a phone call goes out like that, I'm going to fight the same way I will fight when I'm in the Senate. So what I did is I called the owner of the company and threatened him within an inch of his life with his corporation and with him personally. That's the same kind of fight that I will take into the Senate for the people. We are servants of the people. And I think a lot of people that have been elected go there and they forget that they're servants of the people. It goes to their head and nothing gets done, things get, things get stalled. I'm not like that. I am going to go and I'm going to fight for what we the people want. I despise taxes just like many of you in this room. I'm a business owner. The regulations are so overburdensome. I almost hate that word. It's not drastic enough. So I will go there and I will fight for all of us. And I'm going to be starting door to door here shortly. Uh, this weekend I'm out of town, but after this weekend we are going full board during the week and the weekend. So a lot of you are going to see myself knocking and a lot of people that are in our organization that are helping. And I'm very excited about it. I hope that I have your support. If anybody has any questions, even, uh, you know, just anything, the smallest of things. Uh, I am here. The phone number is on the website. You can track me down. I'm, I'm readily available. People call me at midnight, two, and three. Please don't do that, but it does happen. And I also want to let you know that I have been making my rounds around the district with different groups. I just met with the Rotary uh, Club in Ely. Um, uh, convention people making the relationships. It's just been a very exciting journey for me so far and I'm excited to have all of you a part of my journey and I hope that you're there to support me. Any questions, please call me up. I'm always available. Thank you. What is the number of that Senate District, uh, Senate district? Oh, thank you. Senate District 34 and my opponent is Liz Mathis. And by the way, her first three votes were to raise spending and she was also a part of two walkouts. That was her first term uh, in office, her first session. 